for case 19, we have a case of foot pain, cough, and fever in a 50-year-old. Here we have some CT images through the level of the ponds. If you're thinking that's relatively normal, that's okay. Here we have some MR images through the same region. T1 on the left and flare on the right. Here you have a satural T1 image through the same region. So what is your most likely diagnosis? If you don't have a most likely diagnosis, then at least think about a differential. Two, which of these features would be unusual for a pontine infarct? It's a reduced diffusion, flare, hyperintensity, symmetric appearance, or post-contrast enhancement. So here we're dealing with a case of osmotic demyelination, uh, which in a subset of that is known as central pontine myelinolysis. Uh, so that's kind of the old name. Now it's recognized to be extra pontine about half the time. Um, you can have this involving the basal ganglia, white matter, as well as the pons and brainstem. Uh, this is a demyelination syndrome that has been tied to abnormalities in sodium concentration. Now your differential for this is uh, ischemic disease, other causes of demyelination, and neoplasm. Uh, for your appearance, it tends to be T1 hypo-intense, T2 hyper-intense, and have reduced diffusion. Uh, most commonly, you don't have enhancement, although a little bit of subtle enhancement would not be that unusual. Here we see the case that we saw for this case. You have a T1 hypo-intense region centrally within the ponds. It's very symmetric. It crosses the midline. Uh, we didn't, I didn't show you post-contrast images in this case, but it did not enhance. Uh, sparing of the periphery is pretty common. Uh, here I'm showing for your comparison purposes. I have uh, this osmotic demyelination case on the left and a pontine infarct on the right. What you'll see is this case is very symmetric. It crosses the midline, whereas the pontine infarct in this case is confined mostly to the left side of the midline. So it's kind of respecting the midline, which is usually not the case for osmotic demyelination. As mentioned on those images before, pontine infarcts do not usually happen uh, in a bilaterally symmetric fashion. Uh, the vascular supply of the ponds would be very unusual to have that. Uh, so if you see this bilateral symmetric abnormality, you should be thinking more about metabolic abnormalities.